I am passing the endoscope through the patient's right nair. On the left, you will notice the nasal septum. On the right, you will observe the turbinates as we progress through the inferior meatus, just above the nasal floor. As we enter the nasopharynx, you will observe the velopharyngeal or VP port below. We continue advancing the scope to see the base of tongue resting on the epiglottis. As we continue to insert the endoscope, we will be able to closely assess the anatomy, observing the posterior pharyngeal wall, the piriform sinuses, the arytenoids, the inner arytenoid space, the area epiglottic folds, and the true and false vocal cords. You will notice a brief whiteout period during the swallow. By continuing to advance the endoscope to the post-swallow position, you will be able to observe the anterior trachea and the subglottic shelf. By shifting the scope from one side to the other, you can take a closer look at the piriform sinuses and the area epiglottic folds. And now I will carefully remove the endoscope. 